also states following the, the, um, what Georgia and others are doing because we know that there's a lag in time between when the restrictions are lifted and when people get sick and go to the hospital and unfortunately will die. And I'm afraid that people are going to look at Georgia and say, oh, well, they lifted the, the restrictions and it's not that bad. We haven't seen cases go up. And so we, these other states, are going to be lifting our restrictions as well. And we could really see a second wave of infections now or in a couple months time that's much worse than what we have now. And then if we really hit fall and winter and that's even worse, then we will have overwhelmed our healthcare system several times. And I'm really afraid of what will happen with our healthcare workers if too many of them fall ill. We can build new ventilators, but we cannot build more doctors and nurses. And that's what could happen with this resurgence in the fall. Uh, uh, Dr. Wayne, I appreciate it. Jim Acosta, Sanjay, thanks very much. Our next guest is by his own admission, not an epidemiologist. He's a Silicon Valley e-learning executive whose post on Medium titled Coronavirus, Why You Must Act Now has been both prescient and incredibly influential. It's been viewed more than 40 million times and shared by likes of Andrew Yang and cognitive psychologist Steven uh, Pinker. Uh, Tomas Apoyo joins us now. Tomas, thanks so much for, for being with us. I, I've really read your writings uh, with great attention. I think they're incredibly illuminating for people. I really recommend people read them. You, you write about that, the hammer and the dance in several of, the, of your recent pieces. Can you just explain to us what you mean by that? The hammer being the, the strict draconian social distancing that many countries